The reflecting telescope was invented by Isaac Newton. The Cassegrain design is a modification to his design. What is fantastic about reflecting telescopes is that only a thin layer of glass is needed to create a mirror, whereas a lens is a thick piece of glass, much heavier and much more distorting for different colors. A Cassegrain telescope consists of a big circular mirror, marked at A, that points up and right out of the telescope. We will set the diameter of that mirror to 25 centimeters. Larger diameters mean we collect more light in the telescope, and so the stars and other objects we look at will be brighter, kind of like having a larger pupil for your eye. Let's set the primary focal ratio to 8. This is the ratio of the focal length of the mirror to its diameter. So if the diameter is 25 centimeters in length, it will focus light a distance of 25 times 8, or 200 centimeters away. Let's keep the eyepiece focal length at 1 centimeters. This means the little eyepiece we look through, a small lens, which focuses light about 1 centimeter away. When we hit play, we see light come into the telescope from Jupiter, bounce off the primary mirror, bounce off the secondary mirror, pass through a hole in the primary mirror, reflect off of a flat mirror, and then pass through the eyepiece. The image at top right shows us what Jupiter might look like if we look through the eyepiece. In fact, we'd likely want to place a digital camera at the focus of the telescope and take images for a while to get something that looks as good as this. But even with your eyes, you will likely be able to make out the bands across Jupiter. And try to do this soon if you've never seen it before. Find an astronomer. If you play with the different sliders that describe the shape of the telescope, you can change how the planet appears in the eyepiece. Play around with that and see what types of patterns you can find. At the top left of the simulation, you see the reflections off of the two curved mirrors. The law of reflection is quite simple, even for curved mirrors. To find out how a light ray bounces off a mirror, you start by simply drawing in a normal line right at the point where the light ray hits the mirror. A normal line is just a perpendicular line to the curve at the surface at that point. The light ray bounces off with equal angles on each side of the normal line. The design of a cast telescope allows the long focal length of the primary to be folded back on itself so that the entire design can be compact. The longer the focal length of the primary and the shorter the focal length of the eyepiece, the higher the magnification of the image, but the smaller the field of view. So if you want a telescope that makes dim objects bright, and distant objects appear greatly magnified, you want one with a huge diameter, a big F number, and a small eyepiece. Probably pretty expensive. Thanks for watching.